In 1932, the British Air Ministry sent out specification B 932s calling for a high performance, twin engine, medium class bomber. This led to three primary submissions being reviewed the Bristol Type 131, the Vickers Cressy, to become the Vickers Wellington, and the Handley Page HP.52, Hampton. The Handley Page design was ordered in prototype form and, when completed, recorded the first flight on June 21, 1935. The design was thought well enough of that a production contract followed for Hampton MK. I models and development eventually led to trials occurring in 1938. Production spanned from 1936 to 1941 with a total of 1,430 being built. Some sources read 1,532. The finalized Hampton product featured a slim, though deep, fuselage with stepped single-seat cockpit and heavily glazed nose section. The total crew complement numbered four and included the pilot, navigator, bombardier, and dedicated gunners, one of whom doubled as the radio man. The cockpit held a greenhouse-style canopy while additional glazed positions were found at the dorsal and ventral sections of the rear fuselage for the defensive machine gun emplacements. The Hampton was given a rather unique shape as interwar bombers go, featuring a thin tail unit extending aft to which was seated a twin vertical tail assembly at the extreme rear of the design. This stem allowed for both a dorsal and ventral gun position to be featured along the aft section of the fuselage, providing good views for the guns. The wing mainplanes were mid-mounted with each housing a radial piston engine along the leading edge while driving three bladed propellers. The undercarriage was wheeled and wholly retractable while arranged in a tail dragger configuration, giving the aircraft a pronounced nose-up attitude when on the ground. Performance came from 2x Bristol Pegasus 18 9-cylinder radial piston engines of 1,000 horsepower each. This supplied the airframe with a maximum speed of 250 miles per hour, a cruising speed of around 200 miles per hour, a range out to 1,720 miles, and a service ceiling of up to 19,000 feet. At one point, the original B932 specification was revised to include use of the Rolls-Royce Goshawk V12 engine but this requirement was later dropped and just 20 of the engines were produced in all. Defensive armament was entirely machine gun based. 1x7.7mm Browning M1919 machine gun was set in a fixed, forward firing position over the nose while another 7.7mm machine gun was set on a trainable mounting looking down from the lower nose windscreen. The dorsal and ventral aft positions each managed a single 7.7mm Vickers K machine gun, also on trainable mounts. All told, this was intended to provide maximum coverage against intercepting enemy fighters though wartime experience would show that the aircraft was truly undergunned for daylight work. Also its machine guns were directed by hand and not power assisted in any way. Internally, the bomb bay could store up to 4,000 pounds of conventional drop bombs or a single 18 torpedo, the latter for anti-ship work. The bomber also could disperse naval mines in place of conventional drop bombs. A stock of Hampton MKI bombers were converted for the torpedo bomber role under the designation of TB. MKI. By the end of 1938, several Royal Air Force, RAF, squadrons had formed around the Hampton MKI. This meant that when Britain declared war on Germany in September of 1939, the Hampton was already on hand as part of the active Allied air campaign. More squadrons had also formed with this bomber by the time of the declaration to further bolster Hampton's strength. However, the fighting that followed soon showcased the Hampton as a very limited weapons platform, particularly in daylight operations when unescorted by fighter protection. Losses mounted to intercepting German cannon armed fighters and heavy fighters. It was this sort of result that spurred the RAF to take their bombing campaign to the night hours where the German response was restricted some. The Hampton formed a component of the nocturnal RAF bomber force while other heavies were used to continue the daytime pressure. The Hampton, while outclassed as a traditional daylight bomber, could still field a serviceable bomb load and performed admirably in the night bomber role when pressed. Handley Page manufacture about 500 of its Hamptons while additional quantities stemmed from English Electric, adding 770 aircraft, and Canadian CAA, adding 160. Beyond the primary MKI model was the short-lived MK2, HP.62, which attempted to improve the series by introducing Wright Cyclone engines of 1,000 horsepower. 
However, only two MKI models were converted to the MK2 standard and nothing more came of the program. Another engine installation project, this involving Napier Dagger 824 cylinder inline types of 1000 horsepower, produced 100 examples of the Handley Page Hereford. However, persistent engine cooling problems led to this stock being converted back to the Hampton MKI standard and used as bombers. The Royal Air Force began to receive their new aircraft and the first to receive the new type were No. 49 Squadron based at RAF Scampton, who at the time were using the Hawker Hind, on 20 September 1938 and by the time the Second World War broke out in September 1939 10 squadrons were using the Hampton and early reconnaissance operations were completed during the same month. However on 29 September 1939 11 Hamptons were undertaking reconnaissance duties over the Heligoland Bight area when five of the aircraft were shot down by enemy fighters and as a result the type was moved to nighttime operations. The aircraft would again be used in daylight raids during the Norwegian campaign but once again suffered heavy losses. Despite this early setback the Handley Page Hampton soon found its niche as a minelayer with a total of 1,209 sorties flown by the close of 1940. Over the next two years the Hampton played a role in the Royal Air Force's bombing offensive, including taking part in the first raid on Berlin, Germany on 25 August 1940. Although the aircraft was coming to the end of its frontline service with Bomber Command in 1942, it would take part in Operation Millennium, the first 1000 bomber raid by Bomber Command, on 30 May 1942. This saw 1,047 aircraft of all types attack Cologne, Germany, with 41 aircraft lost and over 400 people killed. Its last Bomber Command operation on 15 September 1942 saw No. 408 Squadron. Royal Canadian Air Force Hamptons take part in a raid on Wilhelmshaven, Germany. Shortly before this a number of Hamptons were sent to serve as protection for convoys in North Russia however this was beset with problems as of the 32 aircraft, flying from the Shetlands on 4 September 1942, sent only 23 would arrive so instead the Russians were given the aircraft. Serving with Coastal Command as a torpedo bomber, known as the Hampton TBMKI, April 1942 saw Coastal Command begin to receive its first aircraft when No. 144 Squadron was transferred from Bomber Command, followed by No. 455 Squadron, Royal Australian Air Force on 27 April 1942. During its time with Coastal Command the Hampton would be used for convoy escort and maritime reconnaissance. By August of 1942, the Hampton Line had seen its best days behind it and was relegated to second-line status. The final forms, these being TB. MKI torpedo bombers, were released from service by December of 1943 which ended the wartime service career of the Hampton in full.